Hello, gentle viewers. This is Avindian, welcoming you to Startup Company, a game created by Hovgard Games, which is one of those rare, delightful studios consisting entirely of one human being. Um, and this is—it's a fantastic game. Um, I've had this my eye on this game for a long time. I bought it back in 2017 when it was still in early access. Because I had just finished playing Game Dev Tycoon, I was and I was thinking to myself, man, wouldn't it be cool to play another good Tycoon game? At the time, there were better games. Uh, it was good, but it wasn't great. Uh, but now it's a full-fledged game, it's got a lot of really neat features, and it's just tremendous. Um, I highly recommend it, and we're going to be playing this game for the next few weeks. Um, this is going to take over the Wednesday slot, um, as you will all see. Um, when we get to a specific part in the game, and I'll explain why once we get started, I'm going to stop, um, for the simple fact that getting from one step to the next takes a lot of gameplay time, and I've never actually done it. So, once we get to that part, I'm going to simply say that we've accomplished what I wanted to accomplish, we're showing off the game, and then uh, we'll probably move on to something else. But, let's start a brand new game. Uh, when you start a new game with Startup Company, uh, you first pick whether you want to do a custom game or career mode. We're going to play career mode. And we're going to call this a Vindian... Uh, I am the CEO, of course, and I have uh, three options. I can be an ex-designer and I can help with graphical components, an ex-developer and help with technical components, or I can be an ex-manager and I can create uh, production plans. And we're going to choose that option. Finally, we need to choose what kind of service we're going to have. We can have social media, a shopping platform, streaming service, a video sharing service, a dating platform, and a gaming platform. Now, uh, this is one of the things that's changed recently. I believe these three were not there in the initial release of the game. I think it was only these first three. Um, I kind of like a shopping platform. Uh, in my personal game, I've been playing with a dating platform, so I'm going to pick something different. Let's have a... Let's have a video sharing service where people can share videos and we're going to call it only pigs this is a video sharing service for guinea pigs so that they can share videos of themselves with other guinea pigs um if you follow me on twitter out of indian gaming uh i do share guinea pigs less than i should uh, but I feral many, many of them. We really like guinea pigs. We don't have any, but we want to have some when we get our own house. Uh, and so we're gonna, that's what we're gonna call our website. The video sharing service only pigs, only for guinea pigs, and for no one else. we we'll are start the game. Um, so the way this early game works is we have milestones to achieve. Once we've achieved all of our milestones we unlock some some new things here and here you can see a list of these now milestone 19 is the one i've never been able to get past it's really difficult um i'm not saying it can't be done i'm just saying that i've never done it so this is probably where we will stop um but we'll see. Who knows? So Pam says, I'm your new advisor. Uh, she points out the milestones and we'll get money every time we complete one. Which is good because early on in the game, we won't be making any money. 
So she wants me to get an office, and you can pick from, uh, I believe there's only four options. Oh, there's five options. There we go. Very nice. It's an investment project. Neat. Um, I've never actually done that in this game. That's pretty neat, actually. But we have a long way to go before we can get there. I'm going to ask her to be quiet just so we can explore the rest here. And we're going to start here in, in downtown. We've, all, we've got spot for 10 employees, one floor. It'll cost me 10 grand, and I'll have to pay 3 grand each and every month. And just like that, we've completed our very first milestone. So next, I need to get a desk. Notice it reminds me I can only have 10. And I want to be able to inspire my employees. So I'm going to sit in the back. And the first person I'm going to hire is myself. Here I am. I'm a CEO. And now I can hire employees. Um, I have the ability... Oh, I never noticed this before. I can change myself from a recruiter to a manager. So once I've got all the employees I want in the beginning, um, we are going to want to do that. So, this... My next milestone is the game wants me to hire a designer and a developer. Uh, so before we actually hire them, we're going to buy them some desks. And I want them to bask in my munificence and be like, damn, he's pretty cool. So I'm going to force them to look at me the entire time. That, my friends, is how you ensure productivity. And I'm going to put you over here. But I need to actually hire people if we're going to succeed. So I'm going to do exactly that. Um, as I become more powerful, I'll be able to recruit more effectively. But for now, we're going to recruit ourselves. Uh, this mouse on here says I need a designer and a developer. Let's get a developer and we're going to head hunt. This is going to take some time. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set this to three times speed. So every time this head hunting fills up, we're finding a new candidate. And I want to spend this entire first day just finding candidates now the time machine is very cool the time machine basically sends you through the end of the day all right we've got five four candidates now uh we obviously want the fastest person we can get he's likely to be the most expensive but that's okay um so we have bruce cruz leo gibson austin Berger, and norman daniels let's talk to austin here now, we don't know anything about this guy. We do know that he's 47, so he won't be around forever. We're going to offer him uh, $3,000 a month. Let's start with that. Send an offer. And he's like, oh, no, 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 no. I want a lot more money than that. Uh, but he's still in a good mood. Uh, he's at 51% satisfaction, which means he's willing to listen to another offer. Let's offer him 5000 Now you'll notice his smiley face is at 29 He's not budging. He wants to be paid a lot of money. And we have to ask ourselves, is this the kind of player we actually, is this the character we actually want? I don't think we do. I'm not going to spend that much money on one developer. Goodbye. So I'm going to then talk to Leo Gibson instead. I'm going to say, hey, Leo, how about $2,000 each and every month? And instantly notice, first of all, he's happy and his counteroffer is way lower. Let's go to 3000 send him another offer. He's not coming down by very much, but he is still coming down. Let's offer him 4000 He's pretty mad now. 
Um, I can maybe get him to come down a tiny bit more. Let's offer him 4300 He's either going to accept this or he's going to tell me to go to hell, basically. And he accepted. I just know because of the sound it made. So we have our first employee, Leo Gibson. And we have to tell him what to do. Um, we don't know what he's what what we're going to need to actually improve our website yet. So let's just go ahead and start working on one of each. Just so that he's got something to do while we hire more people. So we're going to tell everyone else we've got our person. Go away, please. And now we're going to start on our designer. And we're going to do the same thing. So he is making the components that we will need to make sure that Only Peaks is a successful video sharing site. But before we sequel, I'm totally over it. Oh, dear. There's a lot of bad puns uh, in this game, which is actually either a feature or it's not. What is going on with my new bottle of water? It's lopsided. It might tip over, but I think I can survive. Mmm, watery. Right. Um... Let's look at Leo, and let's learn more about him as a person. Uh, the first thing for every screen is what they actually do. So this is his job. He makes various components. We store them. We used to upgrade our website. Now, at any time we want to, we can decide. We've got enough stuff for right now. I want to make you a better employee. And that's when you can have them trained. Uh, which is a pretty sweet benefit because it makes them faster. Everything comes around speed. Um, so as he gets better, and he'll get better over time as well, uh, but training means he spends all of his time getting better, um, and then we can promote him and he can do some other things. The last thing every employee has is a stat screen. And this tells me how long, how old he is, how long he's been here, what kind of desk he's got, his money per month, and then his mood. Now, there's only really two ways to increase somebody's mood. One, you can pay them a bonus, which instantly makes them feel fantastic. Second, you can give them a vacation. I can send them home for a day or for three days. The other way to increase his speed, though, which is pretty great, is we can all give him something that he actually wants. And here there's four things he wants that would make him a lot faster. He wants a nicer desk. He wants a retirement plan. He wants a coffee machine. And he wants a plant and a black face. Well, I can help him with none of those things. Oh, no, I can give him a plant. Here we go. Right by your desk. And now we'll notice he's ever so slightly faster because we've met one of his demands, which is pretty good. Right. Uh, he is headhunting. We will wait. So his mood will get worse over time. That's normal. But it'll also increase at the end of every day when he goes home. All right, we're going to pause the game, and I've got a lot of developers to choose between. Uh, so the second number, this is how high the number his speed could get um, with a good manager and with all of his demands met. The first number is their base speed. And now I'm thinking we target Mr. Saunders here. Come on, Calvin. He's 18 years old, which means we'll have him for a nice long time. I'm going to open my offer at three grand. What do you say, mate? Oh, he is very excited about that. I don't think he expected to get that much in the first offer. So I'm going to change it to 4,000. And friends, he is still delighted. I'm going to kick it up just a bit to 4,300. And I think he'll probably take 45. 
And there we go. Calvin Saunders, everyone, you can go home. And I'm going to transform you into a proper manager. Uh, we'll do that here in a second. Here we go. We get 5,000 and we need to work on landing page. So that's a feature and every kind of website has one of these. Unlock. And now we need to actually make it and so we need to know what we need. So we're gonna pick add feature and we're gonna pick add a landing page. In order to upgrade this, we need one UI component, one backend component, one blueprint, and one graphics. So I'm gonna change this queue now. I need UI and backend and I need it ASAP. So we're just gonna do that. And then you need blueprint and graphics. And it's time to turn myself into a manager. I'm gonna manage both of these employees and I'm gonna set a production plan. And here is my production plan. I'm gonna call this landing page plan. Now I'm gonna make sure that we have at least one of each. And we're gonna do wireframe, graphics, blueprint and UI. We're just going to say we, we just want to constantly have one of everything for right now. Okay. And now I'm going to be managing them. This should not say idling. Oh, I didn't actually have him manage the plan. There we go. And now they've been told what to do. So we're just going to sit and we're just going to work on some components. And to upgrade, we need, oh, we needed a blueprint. That's okay, we'll get there. It's gonna take us a few days and that's totally fine. Right on, no one is using our website because it's not ready yet. What about our buddy Calvin? Is there anything we can do to make him happier? He's already delighted, quite frankly. The thing he doesn't like is that we have to work eight hours a day. That's not going to change for a while. Oh, well. Oh, we should have more than enough now to upgrade the website. We do, and we click upgrade. So, we need some marketing so that we can get 2,000 registered users. So we're going over to marketing and we're going to make an email campaign. And we're not going to increase the budget. We're just going to leave it there and we'll see what happens. There's a Jeet. Reddit is the number one. Scratchio is the worst of them. You've already got 2,000 registered users. That didn't take long at all. But we need to add more features in order to make people feel better. Uh, first, we're going to upgrade the site again. We can actually do it two more times, which sounds great. Every time you upgrade, you do two things. The first thing you do is you increase the potential users. The second thing you do is you increase satisfaction. So right now people love our landing page and that's all our website is right now. And yet we still got lots of registered users, lots of eager guinea pigs wanting to learn about other guinea pigs and how they can meet them. Uh, we need to hire a researcher, so let's get him a desk. And I'm gonna turn myself back into a recruiter.
And then I'm going to start looking for a researcher. But it doesn't matter because we still have their keys set up. So they won't be as fast, but now I'll be able to get some researchers. And we're going to spend a couple of days here. I'm going to spend one more full day, I think. Here's the help menu. There's some good reminders in here. All right, who do we got? We've got a lot. This guy's obviously the superstar. Let's talk to Senor Guerrero here. Ronald. $23,000 every month. Uh, he's going to want a lot more than I'm willing to pay him. I'm going to at least give him a shot. Yeah, he's not coming down. That's too rich for my blood. Um, we don't want to spend too much money on our initial employees. Maybe Gary here will be more realistic. He's a little better. As long as I get him for less than five grand, I'll feel pretty good. But I think it's going to take, like, exactly five grand to get him to even think about signing. He's actually not far from agreeing right now. Eh, we spent a little bit more, but he is already at a pretty good speed. Now, unlike our other friends here, all he'll do is just sit around and make research all day. In order to research the additional features that we need, we're going to need uh, at least 30 research points so we can unlock video functionality. Oh, when I'm done HUD hunting... Go back to being a manager, please. And you can manage everyone. Um, I'm actually going to not have you manage the researcher. I'm just going to have you manage the other two. And then we're going to keep upgrading our landing page um, over time because it will eventually get us more users, which will eventually lead to more money. Here, remember, we need 30 research points. And we're there. All right. New feature. And here we're going to need a lead developer. So I'm going to unlock videos. Because we can't have a guinea pig video site without videos, right? And now we need to upgrade our new feature. Uh, so we're going to hire ourselves one more employee. And because they're a little more important than the others, they get a desk alongside me. So they can bask in my reflected wisdom. And I'm going to say no more production for me. Tell all these researchers to go home. Let's find ourselves a lead developer. But I can't yet. So here's what I'm going to do. Set. I'm actually going to spend my time training until we have enough research points to unlock a uh, lead developer. Because here's the important thing. I do not make a salary. Unlike everyone else in the game, I earn nothing. Which means there is no downside to me being uh, very awesome. I also never have below 100% uh, mood. So now we're actually waiting on the researcher. One of the key features of this game is looking for bottlenecks. Why aren't you doing more than you're doing right now? And it's generally something like that.
We're also getting uh, up to almost maximum potential, so it wouldn't be the worst idea to um, start upgrading the landing page again so we can have more registered users. But we'll wait. And the new cheat doesn't affect me at all. What are you supposed to be doing that you can't do? Okay, so you would like to be making a blueprint component, but you can't. Oh, it's the UI element that you can't make. Right, here we go. We'll do it in that order. Oh, I can be promoted now. Brilliant. Nice. And just like that, we've got our 32 research points. Let's unlock lead developers. And let's get headhunting. I can now, uh, spending a little bit more time with each employee, I can figure out how much it's going to cost me to hire them. I'll have some inkling before I even start, which is pretty solid. We're in our total functionality is a hunt is only 50% because no one likes the video features yet. Let's upgrade the link. Oh, I can't upgrade the landing page. I don't have a blueprint yet. All right. So let's click on Lucille Ellis. And we already know this is what she expects to make. So I'm going to start by offering her $3,000. And as predicted, she... Now I'm going to offer her 4000 Now I'm going to offer 5000 Now what's probably going to end up happening here, because I didn't start quite high enough, is she's not going to be as willing to meet me in the middle. So I'm pretty much going to have to offer her like 5500 to even get her to keep talking to me. And she blew me off, and that's fine. Um, there's plenty more where, like, where she came from. Let's talk to Hattie. Hattie's much more reasonable. I'm going to start her off with $2,000. Now, she's already pretty irritated. She's like, that offer is way too low. So I'm going to say, sorry, have another $1,500. Now she's real mad. Um, I can probably get her if I offer like five grand, or if I give her a big signing bonus. If I gave you a $10,000 signing bonus, would you take it? Nope, you were offended. Oh, well. Floyd, let's try offering close to what you want to begin with. Now, already he's being much more reasonable because we offered pretty close to what he wants already. Let's offer 3900 He's still smiling. We're going to get him for about what he expected. About 4100 $4,100, and I'll offer you a $5,000 signing bonus. He took it. Fantastic. L, all the rest of you jerks can leave. I don't even like you anymore. I'm going to hire my lead developer. And what we really need is we need one front end and one video playback module. So that's going to be our new plan. So I'm going to transform into a manager again, and I'm going to create a new production plan. And this one's going to be called video plan.
if I could spell video, which apparently I can't. And I'm going to instantly set all of these to zero. I'm going to basically let them do what they want as long as we're meeting what matters the most, which is we need, uh, what was it, front end and video playback, right? So what this is, this is going to do is he's going to realize this is what I need to accomplish. Oh, I need to actually activate the plan. Employees. I can now manage five employees, by the way, because I upgraded. And uh, we're going to work on the video plan. Why are you still idling? Um, this is not working the way it's meant to be. Yeah, I think I have to basically set it for one of everything in order to get this to work correctly. For now. Yeah, I guess unless I'm giving them specific goals to do things, they'll just do nothing. Which is not the best, but whatever. Uh, developers, let's make sure we have five of everything. And we'll say the same thing for the design. And then as we uh, play, we'll figure out that certain modules are more important and we can make sure that they're doing a thing. All right, so we're just going to sit back and we're going to relax and we're going to wait until we develop the modules that we need. Which are, again, uh, we need one... Uh, front end module and one video playback module. Uh, let's take advantage and let's go ahead and upgrade this by five. Now, the video playback module takes a long time to make. Which is a big problem. And you'll notice that all of a sudden, I've bottomed out and I'm not actually adding very many new users. It's because everyone is so infuriated that we don't have good video functionality that they're just ignoring the rest of the site. Uh, it'll change eventually. But for right now, it's it's pretty problematic. Uh, we have the video component. The thing we don't have is the front end module, which is being created now. Can we meet any of his demands? No, we can't. I'm 19 years old today. I'm actually much older than that, but the game is kind and says that I'm not that old. Uh, we're going to do some research, and we're going to see... Because everyone wants a coffee machine, right? If I get 50, if I use 50 research points, let's put in a coffee machine. I'm going to put it right next to me so that when Floyd or Calvin or his brother Gary or Leo want some coffee, they got to come and talk to me and we can hang out and it'll be great. Um, I believe we cannot upgrade our video feature. We can. People are still pretty mad, but they're less mad about it. They're like, it's okay. Now, one of the things that you'll hopefully will realize is how important it can be to have the right employees. Uh, Marguerite Ramsey, clearly not a guinea pig, but 
That's okay. Is using it to watch guinea pig videos, and she doesn't actually like the video part. Her her jitter handle is wet, which is um, awkward. You know, I think we could really use a second lead developer. Let's take a let's take stock of our inventory. We have pretty stupid amounts of the basic components. The components we don't have are the lead developer components. Um, I am going to get a second lead developer. Uh, here we go. And you can sit right next to the other guy. Now, you typically don't want to hire more employees until you absolutely positively need them. But here, I think it's worth it. Now, Floyd is feeling overworked. Everyone is. Uh, Gary, you can have a day off. Leo, you can have a day off. We've got tons of stuff here in the backlog. And you can have a day off too, Calvin. As for good old Floyd here, how about a big sack of gold? A big sack of cash. How does that sound? Now, Floyd doesn't know what to do, uh, so we're going to have to tell him what to do, which is please work on a video playback module. So you get a back-end module and then a video playback module. That's what you'll be working on. You should be doing lots of things, but you're not going to be. So just deal with it. All right. I've got lots of candidates. The best one is Luke. Luke, I'm going to offer you $3,500. And he thinks he's pretty happy about that. He could be a bit happier. It's over 4,600. And all of a sudden, he's kind of pissed. So I'm going to offer him five and five. $5,000 to sign and a $5,000 salary. He's pretty close to signing. And we got him. Very nice. Luke, my boy, I want you making uh, actually, I'm going to turn you back into a manager and then you're just going to put him in the production plan. I'm going to, so we can get maximum bonuses. I'm actually going to go ahead and manage just the lead developers. And let's make sure that we have lots of components scheduled for being made. We'll throw that in there and then we'll throw another, inter another UI element and then another interface. There we go. Because we want, the faster our lead developers work, the faster we can upgrade features. So I'm going to motivate them with coffee. It's going to be great. I personally would pretty motivated by tea, but you know what? These guys seem to be pretty traditionally American. Oh, we should be able to upgrade now. We cannot, why can't we? Oh, because we don't have enough components for... Okay, there's the front-end module we needed. I need someone to work on that video playback.
which they're not doing. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to try to force them to work on what we want. And we're going to tell them... The thing is, if we set it as anything other than zero, they won't make it at all. So we're going to try setting it as four. This is our new target. And this should hopefully steer them in the right direction. It should convince them, this is what I need you to work on, please. Leo Gibson's feeling sick. What a shame. There are plenty of front end modules, which is great, but the thing we don't have yet is we don't have... You wrote this mess. Luke. Judgy much. Why are you guys not working on video playback? Uh, now, one of the things I can be doing as the game proceeds is I can go ahead and invest in... Um, I can put into my retirement fund. But I need 500000 to even get any at all. Uh, we're going to have to work on that at some point. But for right now, there's no need. So here's, here's what's happening right now. These guys are not working on what I want them to work on. Here we go. Finally, one of you works on a video playback mod. So I'm wondering if what they're doing is they're going to make all the the components for it first and then start working on it. Who knows? Now we're eventually going to want to make a profit with this. So we need to be careful about how much money we spend just on employees. There we go. Now I don't have a front-end module. How do I not have a front-end module? How are you idling, Luke? Uh, I hate this so much. I hate how counterproductive this is. So basically right now, he's like, I don't know what to do. Oh, here's the problem. Uh, go ahead and... Yeah, we're not making enough back-end and network components. It might be about time to hire a new... Here goes the back-end component. Yeah, I think we've reached a point where we could probably use an additional... Yeah, and I don't have the UI element that I need either. Alright. So I want you to just focus exclusively on UI elements for a bit. That's what I want you to do. Leo, you need to spend a lot more time on back-end and network components. I don't care that I'm going to lose some progress here. There we go. That should shore up the numbers a bit. Because if they're idling, they're not doing what I'm telling them to do, and I'm basically making no money. Hold your horses, Floyd.
What is your problem, Floyd? What is it that you need that you don't have? Okay, he's working on a back-end module, which he figured out finally. And we st what is happening to these front-end modules that are getting made? Are you just ignoring me when I'm telling you to make them? Okay. All of these, these are all utterly useless to me. Please only work on these. And maybe that will convince you that you should be working what I bloody well told you to work on and not wasting my time with other things. Why are you idling? Oh my god. Sometimes this is just incredibly frustrating. You need UI elements. Why do you not have UI elements? You're supposed to make UI elements. Oh, it's Calvin here. Okay, he's the bottleneck. I don't have enough UI elements. All is becoming clear to me. You know what, until we get a steadier stream of UI elements, this is never going to get better. You guys do your thing. I'm going to recruit a new developer, or a new designer, rather. And I am going to purchase a brand new beginner desk. I'm also going to congratulate myself for my hard work and buy myself a new desk. I'm, I've earned it. Aw, oh, yeah. I'm now 10% faster. My amazing desk has me pretty excited. And you're trying to make that which... So what's happening is every front-end module I get is being turned into a video production module. Alright, how many people have we found? We found loads. Let's look at Gordon here. Gordon, you're a megastar. Come work. Oh, good lord. I'm going to offer you a $5,000 signing, a $10,000 signing bonus. He's not in the red zone yet. Oh, he took it. Okay, perfect. All right, Gordon, give me UI elements or give me death. And you're going to work on blueprint, graphics, and wireframe. All right, I'm going to cancel the search. Everyone leave. Back to becoming a manager, and let's get this show on the road. So here's the issue. I think you're both trying to make video per playback modules, which is stupid because if one of you doesn't make front end modules, um, we're going to, we're going to change this one more time. And I'm going to tell you Floyd, I'm going to just tell you what to do manually. Floyd, you're making, uh, this is your job now making just those things get to work we have a lot of research points it might be worthwhile investing in something but i'm waiting for right now because i'm sure in the near future they're gonna be like hey you need to upgrade this yeah, we don't have nearly enough front ends, so hopefully 
Gary. There you go. Now everybody's happy. But it also means that instantly the front end module is consumed into the new video playback module. So I'm going to change the expectation of the video playback module. I should have basically twice as many uh, things for that. What are you complaining about? Oh, you don't have enough pure graphics components. Here you go. You guys can work on that and then you can do three of those, three of those, and another UI element. Now, Calvin, why did you call in sick the day after your brother? I don't know if they canonically are brothers, but I'm willing to claim that they are. We've got some extra cash. You both want intermediate desks. Wabam. Wabam. There you go. I think we can almost upgrade the video feature again. There we go. We've done it. Sort of. Not really. We really need the features to be roughly equal in order to make sure that we can uh, succeed. What are you missing, Floyd? You don't have a wireframe component, and I think I had actually told my designers not to make those anymore. So that's a shame on me. Oh, no, you're actually, you're about to finish with that one. That's fine. And let me come back here and just have you then do two wireframes. There you go. You're both going to crank one out. Floyd called in sick. We're almost there. If I can get video com functionality up to 50%, we'll have it made. Okay, here comes the front end module. Luke, you're feeling a bit sad these days. Have some money. Ooh, can we build whiteboards yet? No, we cannot. That's a shame. But we can get us a couch. That's almost as good, right? There we go. Make the office look a little bit nicer. Yes, I know you wish it had a bloody whiteboard. A stomach bride and a jock. It's like, your your video is trash. And I'm like, thanks, bro. Okay, we've made it. We need more registered users. So we're just going to keep improving our video feature. I think that's the biggest thing we need to do. Uh, we can run another email campaign. And I think women like guinea pig videos more than men, so let's let's try that. And I can even increase the daily budget. What the crap are you people on about again? You're out of blueprints. All right. 
I'm going to reset your queue. So it's going to be blueprint, blueprint. Graphics, graphics. UI, UI. Wireframe, wireframe. You, on the other hand, are going to be wireframe, wireframe. Sorry, actually, I want everyone working on blueprints for the beginning. So you're going to go wireframe, wireframe, graphics, graphics, UI, UI, wireframe, wireframe. There we go. Almost everyone has something to do. You guys don't have anything to do, but you'll figure it out. Hmm. <clears throat> We're very slowly getting there. Very slowly. Are you supposed to be working on a video playback? No, you're not. Okay, I thought that's what you were trying to do. Leo, you've done an exceptional job. Have a day off. There we go. Um, what are you both trying to make? You really need an interface module and neither one of you is making it. Oh no, that's entirely my fault. Here we go. In fact, let's do this. Let's make three, then two, then three, then two. There we go. Three, then two. Three, then two. And you're still pissy because you can't make a UI element. But if they're being worked on. Be patient, you jerks. Calvin, have a bag of money. I can't afford to give you a day off. Gordon, have a bag of money. Are you working on the stupid video playback module? No, I don't know what you're working on. You're working on complaining, that's what you're working on. We're doing pretty good. We're getting a pretty steady increase of registered users. It could be better, of course. And I don't actually have enough back-end components. Um, we should definitely get working on those, too. So we can upgrade there as well. Why is your speed so low? Like, partly it's your mood. You want a better desk? Fine, you can have one. I'll give you a bonus so that you can be more productive. I mean, it's honestly the fact that you're kind of a trash tier developer, but that's fine. There we go. People are now like, oh my god, your video is amazing. Which it is. And I think we'll end this video once we hit the 20,000 users, which should be happening in the next day or two. The next in-game day or two, rather. Alright, you know what? I'm tired of hearing complaining about 
whiteboards. That's all I hear. Whiteboard this, whiteboard that. I need 300 research points for that, and I'm frankly not willing to do that. So just deal with it. We're going to get to 20,000 soon, I think. Someone called in sick. I don't think they actually are sick. There you go. We're watching it happen in real time. Come on. Come on, you jerks. Victory! Nice. Okay, and that is going to end our episode. Um, we now have 20,000 people on our website that are registered and watching guinea pig videos, which is pretty amazing. Um, next episode, we're going to focus a bit on hosting, and that'll be pretty cool. But until next time, this has been Avindian. Thank you for watching, and I bid you good day.